Hey everybody, my name is Kitamo. Welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Right back where we last left off. Let's try and find the right answer right here in the court. Uh, do you still have any pride as a police officer? You're familiar with uh, Jin Kuana, right? I think he should be familiar. I, you know, I'm gonna choose that one. It's either one of these two. I'm gonna choose that one. I'm gonna take a, a left turn right here. Harasan, you're familiar with Jin Kuana, aren't you? He's a handyman in Ijinsha. Nope. Never heard of him. On October 7th, Kawana disguised himself as you and boarded a train in Ikebukuro bound for Shinjuku Station. He was the stand-in for the sexual battery mentioned earlier. Your Honor, no evidence has been submitted to verify that statement. The name Kawana was not present on any documentation, nor was the prosecution notified. Kawana is the very person who encouraged the defendant to murder fukushima -san. Defense. As the prosecution has stated, no one by the name of Kuwana is known to the court. We've not even confirmed if he exists. Please refrain from this line of question. But, Your Honor, Kuwana is a key factor in the defendant's motive. Without him, Ahara-san never would have killed Mikoshiba and we wouldn't be in this courtroom. Am I getting through to you? I don't know of Kuwana. No, you definitely do. Kawan is the one who fanned the flames of vengeance. You do well to remember that. We can prove uh, Erara and Kawan are connected by pointing the motive to murder Mikoshiba. Alright, the motive. Uh, recorded call with Sawa Sensei? Or uh, Iro Mikoshiba's murder footage that doesn't prove shit, that doesn't do anything? Nope. The recorded call, I feel like, is the best option right here. For sure, Take boys. To this. It's the only evidence I would see. What is it? It wasn't just some random internet post that made you decide to kill Mikoshiba-san, was it? Even while battling the school in court, you still didn't know for sure who pushed toshiro -kun to his death. This whole That's court thing, boys. To this Trying to present the most, the best mm -hmm. available Oops. resources that we got. Why do you... Toshiro-kun came running to the roof. His face was pretty swollen. And a few minutes later, a student named Mikoshiba came up looking for him. I'll never forget the fear I saw in Toshiro-kun's face. That's the voice of Yokosawa, the teacher Toshiro-kun confided in about being bullied four years ago. It was recorded in secret and played for the defendant by Kawana. He told me about everything. The teasing. The beatings, the theft, how nobody was on his side. And yet, I had to deny all this in front of an entire courtroom. Believe me, I never wanted to do that. But they said there was no hope, that I was the only witness with no proof whatsoever. After hearing this, the defendant came to believe Miku Shibasan's unchecked aggression toward Toshiro was the driving force behind his son's tragic suicide. And ultimately, this became his motivation for murdering Miko Shiba-san and staging his elaborate cover-up. Isn't that right, Ihara-san? Is it coming back to you yet? <sighs> Afraid not. I see. He's playing the hard game. He's really playing the hard game. It's unbelievable. This recording only came into my hands by means of Kuwana. Except, thinking about it now, much like the murder footage, that would qualify as an unreliable source, wouldn't it? What? We live in an age where audio and video footage can be fabricated and easily reproduced. What are you getting at? Sawa-sensei, the one speaking in the recording, was murdered only days ago. And the one who recorded it, Kuwana, disappeared without a trace. Meaning that as far as this recording is concerned, no one is left who can prove that it's authentic to the court. Except for you. All right, so you damn well uh, know everything in, in that recording. It's true. All right, so what is our is next move? Standing incorrect. You would say you're completely unaware of the details about your son in this recording. Kawana had it. Didn't he play it for you? I never heard it. Regardless of the content, it has nothing to do with me. So you say. In that case, 
Let's just assume then that Kawana and I are the only ones in possession of this audio recording. And considering that Kawana has all but vanished without a trace, that would actually make this the only copy and me the sole owner. No backup exists. What are you getting at? If this has no value in this courtroom, then I'm afraid it's never going to have a value beyond today. And being that you claim it's unrelated to you or this case, then it wouldn't bother you if I were to delete it from my phone right here and now. Why would... That's crazy. I wouldn't! Oh, oh, he's into... He, he reacts. He doesn't want me to delete okay. that. Why, why is that, buddy? Tell me why I shouldn't do it. Because... Mikoshiba was a man who should never have escaped being judged. That's the proof of my son's pain. The proof that everyone ignored. That recording is all I have left of him. I took the school to court because Toshiro deserved justice. But all they could say is that the cause of his suicide couldn't be determined. In the end, not a single person was held responsible. No proof, no justice. My son was hung out to dry. Yes. That's all true. All of you. You're all so incompetent. You see yourselves as these paragons of law and justice. Yet the truth slips right through your fingers. And then, my alibi made you a mockery. I made it so real. You passed me off as just another pervert. Oh, he's... Oh, there we go. You there we go, he's just moving on. Every single one of you. He just... Uh, he just said he had just an alibi. Blind to his pain. Miko Shiba walked free because of you. You condone murder and call yourselves the law. That's why. That's why I did it. I took Miko Shiba's life with my own hands. All right. Well, it's done. It's done. This is coming in hot. Remember that pervert cop? Turns out he's actually a murderer. To recap, you killed Hiro Mikoshiba and Ijincho, then headed to Shinjuku Station where you and Kawana pulled off a switch. And there you were ultimately arrested as a groper. Yeah. He admitted right. to murder, boys. What do you know? I actually made him admit. Admit it. That's interesting. Defendant, you bear animosity for the whole system. We can't just take your words at face value. If you're responsible for Mikoshiba-san's murder, can you bring forward any evidence or just the murder footage? To tell you the truth, I have something that I was holding on to for the impact that it would have. It's very real evidence that the law has failed us. What have you been hiding then? Will it prove you killed Mikoshiba? Yes. Then what is it? If you go to my wife's apartment, you'll find my son's altar there. In it. You'll find the weapon I used for the crime, the knife I murdered him with. It still has Mikoshiba's blood on it. Uh, wait a minute, Genda-sensei. I prayed at that altar. Well... I guess you can lead a horse to water. Very well, then. We'll open an investigation. Defense. Will there be anything further? No matter how justified, vengeance is not something we can ever take into our own hands. That said, in the case of Ahara-san, our system failed him. We know the law strives to be just, but it failed to prove Toshiro-kun was bullied. That's not justice. Not when no one is held responsible. The law, as well as those who enforce it, are far from perfect. So to the court, I say let this case be a lesson. The law is failing to save people who need saving. It's clear proceedings should be adjourned. At a later time when Mikoshiba-san's murder weapon is recovered, we can resume the trial. I'm willing to do that via a special exception. Defense, prosecution, is that clear? No objections. The defense rests, Your Honor. All right. 
Waiting for a second trial. We gotta move fast though because everybody knows where the murder weapon is. Uh, we gotta get to it first. And that's gonna be a hard, uh, hard thing to do. They can easily make that weapon disappear. Well, Kanagawa PD called from the Ahara residence. They've recovered the knife. I'm ashamed to admit that I was so blind to his scheme. Well then, that makes two of us. <sighs> Seems I underestimated you. And the worst part of all, I was arrogant. Legal authority and organizational connections should never be held above the pursuit of truth. I'm glad you were able to make me see that again. Thank you. All right. Nah. See, that's a good lawyer. You've come a long way. Genda Sensei. Prosecutor Takano's been stubborn as hell from the day he passed the bar. Once he's made up his mind, nothing can stand in his way. Not even his own boss. And he only bows once in a blue moon, so I hope you remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Genda law. I'm never going to like you. Oh, look at that, man. We're actually making really friends with the uh, opposition. Job. What the hell? I did not expect that, boys. Did not expect that at all. That's something. There's the ministers, uh, the minister, uh, minister of health, I guess. Yagami-san. It's Kusumoto. What does she Our want? Sinister. Bondo. He's from public security. That's the guy. You handled that with such grace, Yagami Sensei. It's no wonder Kawana holds you in such high regard. What brings you here? Yagami Sensei, would you mind if we talked alone? Why, though? Something we can't hear? The more you know, the more you risk. You'd be endangering your own lives. If you're willing to accept that, feel free to stay. We'll clear the room. At this point, we'd just be getting in Yagami-san's way. What is it they want to tell me so badly? Well, for the first trial, I actually ended up not dropping her name. But that's not be that's because I didn't have the option. And I had to focus on Kuana first, you know. But you, you, she's next. Don't worry, don't you worry about it. She's next. I'm definitely going to drop her name when I get the chance, boys. It was nearly a month boys. ago that Kusumoto-san received a letter from Kuana. Though we were unable to use it to trace him. What did it say? Soma told you, didn't he? Kuana hid Shinya Kawai's body, seeing as Kusumoto-san's fingerprints and other traces were still on it. If that surfaces, the Ministry of Health will have yet another massive scandal on its hands. As such, we'd like to recover and dispose of the body as quickly as possible. Perhaps we'll need to melt it down. The body was originally preserved to maintain control over Mitsuru's bullies. I never imagined it would be used against me someday. Fine, well, you're being stupid if that's what you thought. Because of the letter he sent. Once Eihara-san's trial is over, he wanted to talk to you. Using my phone. Huh? That was quick. <gasps> Is that Kawana? Kusumoto san. Is Yagami there? Put me on speaker, please. Why is you. That's interesting. Taking a big well, chance talking to me right now. took our failing legal system and turned it on its head. Couldn't have done it without you. I don't know what you're thinking, but public security has to be tracing this call. You have a You've got a burner phone, obviously. No, not this time. That's why I'm using my own phone. And that's just the way I want it. I can't run forever, you know. What the hell are you saying? If they catch you, you're a dead man. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he's playing at. Negotiating to prevent that. Kusumoto-san. Yes. 
I'll be upfront with you. I never imagined the day would come that you would be the one to betray me. But if I had to guess, Mitsuru-kun must have woke up. If that's the case, then Kawaii's murder, your whole past, you're not the only one it stands to ruin. If all that comes into the light, Mitsuru-kun will be labeled the son of a murderer. Exactly. I can't let that... That's the one thing I need to prevent. I know. That's good. That's exactly what you should be doing. So please, don't stop now on my behalf. Enough is enough. You and your son have been through enough hell. I want to protect Mitsuru-kun too. Almost as much as his mother. Where is Kawai's body? Tell me. I can only assume this call is being traced, so... Even as we speak, I'm standing somewhere very close to it. You gave us the location. I'm going to dispatch Soma. Kawana! Where are you? I'm an Injincho. If I take even one step out of this city, I'd be powerless. I've got nowhere else left to go. Kawana! Man, Kawana's part of my investigation. He is my... He's one of my only high witnesses. He's the key Kawana's to my trial. I cannot lose him. On the list. Bondo can act at his own discretion. If he wants me gone, he'll be able to silence anyone who could know too much. Sawa Sensei was just the first victim. <sighs> you yourself have sealed this fate, you know. Will you tell him? Will you tell Mitsuru Kun about Sawa Sensei? Surely you know it wasn't my fault. Sawasan's death was a tragedy. I never imagined that would happen. What about Kawana? Can you imagine how his death is going to play out in a few hours? I can. But I'm not going to let him go down without a fight. Which means... I'm going to Ichincho. Yeah, I'm going to go I save his ass. Sibando. I won't allow him to kill indiscriminately. So please, don't go out there to risk your life. Too late for that. That's how it works. No promises. Tsukumo, Kawan is still out in Ijincho. Soma and RK are heading there too. We need to get to him fast. Wait, are you sure about that? You should be able to pick up some chatter. Pinpoint the location. I'm on my way. I'll talk to you soon. We need to go save Kawana, boys. We don't have a choice here. It's our only eyewitness. The, it's the only guy, it's the main objective of our trial right now. If we lose him, we lose pretty much everything. Yes, we have the knife and everything, but, but come on. We need him. Is RK on the move? Oh, yes. A picture began circulating on the internet not long ago. It was likely kawana who put it out there. I just sent it over to you. Hang on. All right, what did he put on the internet now? Oh, the photo, okay. Shinya Kawaii. That's his body. Indeed it is. I data mined the image and found out it was taken just minutes ago. I also have the location. It's a warehouse company on Yokohama's coast. And Kawana's uncle came up with the proprietor. You mean Siren's owner? So Kawana's relative was an ex-Yakuza. Maybe his warehouse is the perfect place to hide a body. Exactly. Send me the warehouse. Let's go there. Place. Actually, Sugira, she's driving there with Kaito-san and Higashi-san right now. If you want to ride, take Ishizaki Road and head to Surukame Highway. <laughs> Can't count how many times you've come through for this moment. <laughs> Just trying to return the many favors, Yagamichi. All right, let's do this shit, boys. Let's do it. We gotta head over there. A word of advice from here uh, from here to the end. The battles will be intense. It sounds like it may be a problem. It may be a good idea to stock up on items. I don't need any problem. I don't have any problems. I'm going to be fine. Over here. I'm going to be doing just fine, boys. Let's do this shit. So they're telling me... They just told me we're about to have a lot of fighting to do, boys. Which is fine by me. I'm good. Let's do it. There's RK. That was quick. Come in That's funny. That's a good one. What are we waiting for? 
Do we, are we gonna fight or are you just gonna run? We have a van. Why are we waiting here instead of just running away? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna fight. Fine then, let's fight them. Let's fight the RK boys. I take it they don't want us getting to Kuanasan? I guess they were expecting us. Sure are making a big show of it. What are those people doing? Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Should we call the cops? Cops are in on this. Our kids with the cops. Way. I don't know what these citizens think about uh, thinking about. Yeah. Cops are just Can gonna give more, uh, give us more trouble. Quit stalling and come get some. All right, let's do this. You guys want to fight? Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, boys. Let's go. All right, I'm running. Let's go, boys. All right, let's go. We we got this. We're just gonna kill your ass easily. There we go. There we go. Got him really quick. EX action on his ass. Boom. I'm prepared, boys. And uh, from the sound of it, I had I'm going to have multiple fighting to do. So I got to be prepared for it, boys. I cannot lose uh, too much health. So I got to I got to really step it up a notch. All right, more people. Sounds like bigger goons or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's one of them that has a little bit more health. There we go. There we go. Got him. We're gonna ch uh, get him. Boom! All right, let's go, boys. There we go. Just like that. We're just gonna keep. Oh, he actually got me right there. All right, EX action. Just got him with a baseball bat. That's perfect. And we're just gonna uh, get him really quick. This guy. And there we go. There we go. Just uh, continue to fight these goons, boys. Let's go. Whoa! Now, no. Oh, okay. EX action, I guess. Now I'm getting a bit rusty here. Uh, multiple people. I'm gonna have to be careful about this. I'm gonna have to really be careful. All right. How about I do this? Boom. That should do it right there. There's more of them. They keep coming out in bunches, boys. We're gonna have to fight multiple of them. That's fine by me. We're gonna protect ourselves. EX action. Float over DDT. Let's do. Let's go, boys. And now we're just gonna keep attacking them. All right, that's uh, that about does it right there. EX action, flow over DDT again. Just keep getting your ass, buddy. Just keep getting you. Boom. All right, let's go. And get him. There we go. This guy's done. All right. Just like that. All right. He actually uh, dropped it. Whoa, now. What the fuck was that? Did I just run into a wall or something? EX action. All right. Just... Punch him with the bike or stuff. Take him out with the bike. That, uh, that should about do it right here. Let's go. Okay. And judo takedown. That should uh, do it as well. There we go. I do not want to use my EX for no reason, boys. So I want to be careful. There we go. And there's one last guy remaining. And they got him. All right. Good. So now what? That was it? Actually did pretty well this time around. That's, that's good, I guess. There's the cops, the actual cops. Somehow they never show up when you need them. But they're right there when it's going to be a pain in the ass. You think this bunch is with public security? I'm not sure. Either way, we don't have time to deal with them. Hey! Relax, fellas. I can vouch for these guys. Nabe-san. All right. Look, look who's here to fight with us. You can investigate the connection to Ahara. What the hell are you guys doing here? Kawana's in a tight spot, actually. Can I count on you? Will the cops help? What do you mean by a tight spot? Take a step back, please. These men are going to be under our jurisdiction. This has to wait. We're dealing with a matter of life and death here. Be quiet! Hey, I told you I could vouch for these guys. Why don't we all just chill out and let them explain what they're doing? Son of a hey, bitch. What the hell? The hell is this? They're attacking they cops. Okay, name and department. Our orders are coming from way higher up the chain than yours, sir. So again, stay out of this. There's nothing stopping me from arresting a detective. Or do you want to try me? <sighs> and do you All right, that's it. You just gave them an excuse to work with us. We're about to have a problem here, aren't we? All four of you, put your hands up and face the car. I said move! We're not moving anywhere. Oh, what 
brings you all the way out here? Matsu? Akane? Hey! Stop that! Whoa! Back off, dude! Hey! Check it out! These goddamn cops, they're jacking my friend's food because they're shady as fuck! Hell yeah! I've got all the time against us! you damn right! Can't do shit! Start the car. Start the car, we gotta move. Nice distraction, man. Damn. That's what I'm talking about right here, repaying me right there. Watch out now. The Liu Mang, there we go. We got the Liu Mang helping us out as well. Hey, everybody helping us out, man. We got the friends around town. Next thing you know, MRC is going to show up and help us out as well. What the hell, boys? Everybody is helping us. That's what making friends is for, I guess. Got everybody. I would have thought the detectives would have come up with us, though. That's interesting. Right, we got the detectives, the Liu Mang, the kids as well. That's crazy. Soma? I can't confirm his location, unfortunately. Kuanasan either. Okay. So give me a number here. How many RK we got? Not I'd enough to stop us. A hundred? It's a That's nothing. So nothing we can't handle. They, they seem to have fanned out to search for Kawai's body. The good news is there's no indication they found it yet. Tsukumokun, got any bright ideas for where I should park this thing? I'm afraid it won't matter too much. The enemy already knows you're on route. You'll have a welcoming party no matter where you decide to enter from. Hey, if they already know we're here, we might as well make a big entrance and run right into them. We got a car after all. Just completely do a hit and run. That's gonna take out at least 20 of them. Right? Just go full maniac on them. I guess we're just too uh, loyal to do that or just too kind to do that. All right then. Hey, it may, might be a hundred. We're four. 25 each. We're gonna be fine. Let's do this. Are you guys ready? Hey, anyone else getting some good deja vu from kicking a bunch of asses in a downpour? Pretty pumped, actually. It's reminding me I'm alive, you know? Come on, man. Are you that bored back in Kamurocho? Let's do this. <laughs> Finish this shit already. Let's go! You ready, RK members? Let's do this. My health is still the same, so alright. All right, let's do this, boys. Let's go. I was a bit careless on the other uh, upper zip mission. So I gotta really not be careless right here. I gotta really take them out easily right here. There we go. There we go. Oops. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Just like that. Just get a bunch of them. There we go. And now we're just... Whoa, now. EX action on your ass. Just like that. That should about do it right there. There we go. Just like that. Just keep attacking them. Judo takedown on your ass. Let's go. We got him. There we go. Boom. Judo takedown. There we go. Got him. There we go. Just gonna take out as many as possible. There, just like that, boys. Keep attacking them. There we go. All right. Judo takedown. There we go. Every time they block, boys, I'm just gonna go for ju uh, judo takedown. Just like that. All right. Keep attacking them. Keep attacking them, boys. And we gotta go super fast, super agile. Boom. Okay, judo takedown. Come on, come on. There we go. I, I don't, the one thing I don't like in this game, though, uh, with the fighting uh, abilities, is he blocks. You see that? He goes into some sort of weird sta uh, stage. Um, uh, Yagami does uh, uh, every time. Like I stop fighting, it's like I have like some sort of combo I can do, and after that I can't do anything. Like for a split second, it's like he stops, and that's enough of a second for the enemy to just attack you or get you. It's kind of a frustrating a little bit. I think that's cool. We got him. We got him. We got to get him. No X action. E X action on the last second. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough to take him out? Please tell me it's going to be enough, boys. Oh, it is. Look at my health bar. That was the last dude as well. Oh, I almost died at the last second. That would have been pretty bad, boys. 
so many of them. All right, 20k points. Oh, that's a lot of fighting right there. All right, so we're going to stop it right here, boys. We're going to keep it going for the next video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you did enjoy this one. Keep it easy.